September 2007 something happened back then that has everlasting horrifying effects on my life, as young teenage friends full of exuberance, we found an internet ad about a meticulously designed escape room with a reward of $50,000 for those who survive. An intricately designed escape room that plunges participants into a mind-bending labyrinth of puzzles, riddles, and hidden secrets. Many adventurers sought the secrets hidden within its walls, but none ever returned. Tales of malevolent spirits, unspeakable horrors, and a wicked darkness that consumes all who dare to enter. As a thrill-seeker teenagers, I and a group of daring friends, drawn by the allure of a big reward and decide to explore the infamous escape room deep in the heart of an old abandoned mansion. A renowned escape room, an unprecedented puzzle labyrinth called the Enigmatic Chambers of Despair, constructed by a renowned escape room designer, Mr. Blackwood, with rumors of its enigmatic and eerie nature spreading like wildfire, I and my group of thrill-seekers were drawn to the challenge. As the ominous wooden door of the mansion closed behind me and my friends, a chill ran down my spine. The air felt heavy with an inexplicable presence, but the thrill of the unknown kept me going. Mr. Blackwood's reputation preceded him, and I knew the escape room would be an adventure like no other. The first chamber welcomed me with an unsettling aura, filled with ancient artifacts, cryptic symbols, and haunting paintings. My adrenaline surged as I realized the gravity of the situation. I was to face not only ingenious puzzles but also the fear of the unknown lurking in the shadows, as I solved the initial riddles, the doors to the next chamber unlocked. However, the further I delved, the more I noticed an eerie transformation within the group. The puzzles seemed to affect my friends differently as if awakening their darkest fears and haunting memories. As I progressed, tension mounted within the group, and trust began to wane. Paranoia crept into the minds of my friends, causing them to turn on each other in desperation to escape. It became evident that the escape room was not just a game, it was an experiment designed to exploit the deepest insecurities of each participant. In one chilling chamber, the walls closed in on my friends, and they were tasked with solving the puzzle before time ran out. The haunting cries for help echoed through the room as they struggled to cooperate. I watched in horror as one of my friends met a tragic end, unable to solve the puzzle in time, the sinister reality of the escape room dawned upon me. And I realized that Mr. Blackwood's intentions were far darker than I could have imagined. He reveled in the suffering of his participants, delighting in the despair he invoked. The line between reality and the macabre creation blurred, and I knew I had to escape before I met the same fate, I pressed on, my heart pounding with each challenge, but the rooms grew more sinister and relentless. The puzzles became more twisted, designed to prey on my deepest fears and weaknesses. With each friend lost, the burden of their deaths weighed heavily on me, the escape room turned into a psychological nightmare, pushing me to the brink of sanity. Fear, desperation, and grief overwhelmed me. But I refused to succumb. As I ventured deeper, I discovered that some of the puzzles had no solutions, and the exit seemed increasingly elusive. In the final chamber, I faced a malevolent presence, a manifestation of Mr. Blackwood's twisted mind. The room was filled with the ghosts of my fallen friends, their haunting voices urging me to break free from the grasp of the escape room's sadistic creator. With trembling hands, I managed to unlock the door to freedom just in time, leaving behind the nightmarish mansion and the horrors that lay within. The weight of the ordeal clung to me, as I emerged as the sole survivor from the enigmatic chambers of despair. In the end, I escaped the clutches of the diabolical escape room, but the scars it left on my mind would forever haunt me. The chilling experience changed me and reminded me of the fragility of life. I vowed never to forget my friends and the harrowing night that tested my will to survive. Thank you for watching if you enjoy watching these true stories from the internet please like share and subscribe.